So here we are, four games into the Packers season, and the same issue that has plagued us for years and years is plaguing us once again, and that is the inability to stop the run. And all off season, ending off last season, there was the debate about Joe Barry. Should he stay? Should he go? It's been two years. The, uh, the defense hasn't been as good as we thought. Matt LaFleur says, okay, let's keep Joe Barry. And here we are, and no, nothing really has changed. This defense is not living up to, I think, the expectations most people have for it. We are currently one of the worst run defenses in the NFL. We have allowed two teams to run for over 200 yards against us, and we saw on Thursday against the Lions that the Packers had no answer. And I want to read a quote here from Joe Barry because he spoke to the media in the past few days about the issues with the run defense. And here's here's what he had to say. So he said, it's not one thing that you can pinpoint. It's one thing on this play. It's another thing on this play. Then you have 30 runs that you play really well. So it's a number of things. But we've got to correct it. We will correct it. We're exploring everything right now. So right now the Packers are seemingly looking at the issues, saying, okay, what can we do to stop the run? How do we stop the run? It seems like they just don't really know how to stop the run. I mean, if we knew how to stop the run, we would have done it by now, right? And that leaves me questioning, you know, how much longer is Joe Barry going to be here if he can't get this Packers defense to to be able to at least be okay against the run? Like, not even top 10. Like, can you be top 15, top 16? And still, it just has not happened. And I think that if you're the defensive coordinator, regardless of how much talent you have on the defense, it's your job to get your guys to, you know, to produce. And so... Um, I do think the Packers have a lot of talent. Maybe we don't have everything we perfectly need right now on this roster to stop the run. Um, you know, it's not everything isn't Joe Barry's fault, but I think lots of it does come down to Joe Barry because he's the guy putting these guys in, in different kinds of positions. And so far, the issues have not been fixed. And two, I want to read another quote from LaFleur that he had to say about the run game problems after the, the Lions game. He said, we're going to have to do something different because it's insane to do the same things over and over again and expect a different result. So, LaFleur clearly is frustrated with this run defense, as all of us are. And if Joe Barry can't solve it, I just have a hard time believing he'll be here for that much longer. I don't know if that would mean the Packers move off of him, move off of him during the season. LaFleur seems to be the kind of guy who wants to wait till the end of the season. But if these problems continue time and time again, I mean, I don't see Joe Barry staying here for that much longer. And going into this third season, you know, I was hopeful. I was trying to be optimistic. Like, okay, well, the Packers even played well to end the season. Maybe Joe Barry has figured it out. And I think the answer is that he has not figured it out. We have some games that make you feel good about it. Like the game against the Saints. I was like, okay, maybe we're okay. Maybe we're fine. Then we play the Lions and it's like, no, we're not fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're not fine. And so next week we play the Raiders who have one of the worst run even, or run offenses so far in the NFL. I was looking at one stat. Um, and let me, where did I put it? Um, yeah, I think they're last in EPA per rush. And Josh Jacobs has not really been able to run the ball well. So if the Packers can't stop the Raiders rushing attack, I mean, that just con- continues to confirm that the Packers have a, have a problem stopping the run. And I found this other interesting stat from Bill Huber of Sports Illustrated. He put it in an article that I was reading earlier today. He said this, Since the start of the 2018 season, the Packers are 32nd in the NFL and EPA per play defending the run. They finished 31st or 32nd in Football Outsiders DVOA in two of those seasons. So that was even before Joe Barry. We had lots of these run defense issues. So does that mean it's a, you know, a player problem? Is that a GM problem? Like what is the problem here? Because there's clearly a big issue. And I know right now the the Packers offense hasn't been playing great. We've had some nice moments. We've started off pretty slow and played. Jordan Love has played crazy good in the third quarter. But if you look at scoring offenses right now, the Packers are the 10th best scoring offense in the NFL. The defense, on the other hand, 20th ranked scoring defense in the NFL. So it's not like this offense has been abysmal. And of course, the first week helps us a ton. We scored, what, 38 points against the Bears. But still, uh, I think we all hoped that the defense would sort of allow Jordan Love to get acclimated as the season went on. And so far, it's really doing nothing to help the offense at all. And you can make the argument the offense at times isn't doing the off the defense favors, but still big issues. I just wanted to read that Joe Barry quote. He seems to be trying to work on it. We'll see. We'll see if things can be changed, but so far in three seasons or, you know, two and a half, two and a fourth, whatever this is now hasn't changed. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more Packers content, feel free to subscribe.